Welcome to Learn More. In the previous lesson, we learned about the meaning of psychology. We looked at the origin of psychology, and we also looked at the we looked at why the definition of psychology is not generally acceptable by psychologists. So, before you go through this um, lesson, if you've not gone through the last lesson, um, I would advise you look for the last lesson in and um, and try to get try to get acquainted to it and understand it before you come to this lesson. Just go to our, our page on Facebook and you get the the previous lesson there, the meaning of psychology. So in this lesson we are looking at the characteristics of psychology, the characteristics of psychology. So at the end of this lesson, the viewers should be able to state the characteristics of psychology state the reason why psychology is a science, state the scientific process. So we just have three major objectives in this lesson. Number one is to look at the characteristics of psychology. We are also looking at um, the, the reasons why psychology is a science, is psychology a science? And we also want to look at the scientific procedure, the scientific procedure. So like I said before, our topic is characteristics of psychology. The characteristics of psychology are major features that are associated with psychology. They are major features that are associated with psychology. And they include, number one, some of the characteristics of psychology are, psychology is a science. Psychology is a science. Science like biology, like chemistry, like physics. We know science subjects like biology, chemistry, physics, and so on. So psychology is a science. It's not a social science, but is a science. Now, psychology involves the behavioral pattern of humans and animals. It involves the behavioral patterns of humans, of animals, how humans behave, how animal behaves. Psychology is an organized body of knowledge obtained with the use of organized method of science. Psychology is an organized body of knowledge obtained with the use of organized body of science. So in psychology, we have it, 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 it is a body of knowledge and the body of knowledge, it's, it is derived from an organized method of scientific procedure. So psychology follows the scientific procedure in carrying out its research. Psychology adopts scientific method to carry out its research. So the procedures that science use in carrying out the research, we have the scientific procedure Sci um, psychology also adopts that same method in carrying out its research. Now, some approaches use it, uses some approaches used in psychology, which makes it scientific include number one, observation; number two, documentation; number three, experimentation; number four, development of theories; number five, measuring; number six, analysis and referencing so this uh, method that i listed now they are the scientific procedure they are the scientific procedure this is how science carries out its research so psychology also adopts that same method in carrying out its research the same method that science is used is being also used in in psychology in carrying out scientific research so that is why psychology is a science so psychology is a science because it adopts the scientific procedure, it adopts the scientific method in carrying out its research. So if you are asked, is psychology a science? Is it a social science? You can say yes, psychology is a science because it adopts the scientific procedures in carrying out its research. So that's one reason why psychology is a that's one characteristic of psychology. Then the next characteristic of psychology is psychology studies human and animal behavior. Psychology studies human and animal behavior. Psychology studies the way human and animal mind works and how it influences their behavior. Why? Why the human tends to understand better than, than other animals? Why why are human called higher animals? Why do human um, and animal also respond to stimulus in a different way? So psychology studies the human mind in generally. It studies the human mind and how it influences their behavior. 
how the human mind influences their behavior. It also studies the animal mind, animal mind and how it influences their behavior. Then number three, psychology is a discipline. Psychology is an organized body of knowledge consisting of subject matter which describes and explains animal behavior. Psychology is an organized body of knowledge consisting of subject matter which describes and explains human behavior. So, psychology is an organized body of knowledge. Psychology is a discipline on its own. We have so many disciplines like um, we have medicine, we have accountancy, we have um, education technology, we have so many other disciplines in, in the academic field and psychology now is a discipline on its own. It's a discipline on its own. So someone, so someone can go in and study psychology and come out to become a psychologist. A psychologist. A psychologist is someone that studies psychology and, and is ready to solve problems using psychology, um, using the knowledge that he or she has got in, in, in the field of psychology. So that person is called a psychologist. So now we are saying that psychology is an organized body of knowledge. It's consisting of subject matter. So when you go to study psychology, there are so many concepts you'll be studying in psychology. So psychology is an organized body of knowledge. There are so many subject matters in psychology that, well, as we go along in studying psychology, we understand. So psychology is a discipline and it has so many branches. It's a discipline and it has so many branches. Now, let's look at some of the branches of psychology we have clinical psychology we have educational psychology we have developmental psychology we have counseling psychology we have social psychology etc we have so many other branches of psychology but these ones are just listed for you to understand some of the branches of psychology we'll soon get to um the point where we we'll look at the branches of psychology but for now let's look at just these five as the branches of psychology that are that are available that that we gave in this in this lesson but there are so many other branches of psychology now um to explain the branches of psychology i can say that the branches of psychology are the aspects of human life in which psychology directs its study so we have clinical psychology educational psychology developmental psychology we have counseling psychology we have social psychology so each of these um field of life each of this each of this study of life um psychology directs its study on on them psychology directs the theory that it has propounded on on, on this on this on this field of life in solving their problems for example we have educational psychology in educational psychology the, the psychologist brings in solution to, to education. It brings in solution to education um, by the knowledge he or she has gotten by studying psychology. So um, what I'm saying in essence is that um, educational psychology is an aspect of um, psychology. It's an aspect of psychology that, that solves educational problem using psychological method. So we are using psychological method in solving some educational problems. So that is educational psychology. Okay, we'll get we'll get to there some days. We'll get to educational psychology and we'll learn more about educational psychology. For now, we are still under the characteristics of psychology, and I've given you three characteristics of psychology. The fourth characteristics of psychology is psychology describes, predicts, and modifies human behavior. Psychology describes, it predicts, and it modifies human behavior. It describes human behavior, it predicts human behavior, it modifies human behavior. So psychology, psychology pre pre predicts human behavior. It, um, we can say that there is a pattern of child growth, that child growth from, child always grow from, from we have the um, conception, um, from conception then when the, the when the mother delivers the child we have we have um the the early early childhood stage we have the late childhood stage we have the adolescent and we have the adulthood and so on so we can we can predict we can say okay uh we can predict human behavior that okay at birth 
the child would want to um take more of breast milk then when when it crawls you know it it, it want to try and start adapting to the kind of food that the human takes so um you know the kind of training you have to give to the child at that time so we're trying to predict human behavior we are trying to predict the behavior of that child at that particular time we are trying to predict that okay this is the kind of learning that's that's going to be taken to um develop the mental capacity of the child at this time we are predicting that this child should have um gone above this stage to this stage then from here he, he would he would he would grow older and he would understand some major things you know psychologists predicts human behavior it predicts human behavior for example when um you have you have um, mistakenly you you were you were injected um you were injected through a needle you know instantly at that point your your body tends to tends to understand that something has gone wrong and you 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 react you can react and say oh i, I have a pain somewhere in my hand or somewhere you know this is trying to tell us that we are trying to predict human behavior so I've, I've given you the characteristics of psychology and i said psychology describes predicts and modifies human behavior i, I also said psychology is a discipline and i said also that psychology studies human and animal behavior and we also looked at psychology is a science where i told you that there are some scientific um procedure in carrying out um, scientific research and psychology also adopts that same behavior in carrying out psycho in carrying out its research. So, in summary, we have learned about the characteristics of psychology. We have seen why psychology is a science and if psychology is a science, and we also looked at the scientific procedure, and we we know that psychology pre pres prescribes, psychology predicts and describes human behavior. So, if you have question um, regarding what we have learned, you can drop your question on the chat box. You can send an email, and we'll try our possible best to reach out to your question. In the next lesson, we'll be learning about the branches of psychology. The branches of psychology. Don't forget, we we will. Um, I gave you some branches of psychology as I was explaining the characteristics of psychology. I gave you at least like three, four branches of psychology and i said we have counseling psychology we have social psychology and so on so we'll be looking at the branches of psychology so that you could understand um the branches of psychology in 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 a very um easy way so in the next class we are looking at the branches of psychology see you in the next lesson <music>